Uh, uh, so what do you think about the whole economy, uh, Earth economy, like next five years? It is not good. They have predicted the collapse of the economy for 2027, but now it looks like it could be much sooner. Uh -huh. Some have predicted it as close as the year end. However, we do not see that as it being that quick. But uh -huh. five years may be enough. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. We do see that by the movement of the war machines by some countries that the economy will be fixed in some areas and destroyed in others. So we know that it will be offset once again. It is hard to predict what they will do next. Mm -hmm. So because I'm thinking you go the ahead. time must continue. So they have their ways of continuing it, but it will continue, but not in a satisfactory way for humanity at this time. Uh, so <clears throat> suppose the economy falls in the end of the year. What kind of business should that be to continue if the economy is not there? Uh, I don't really know. I remember the past times of when the economy went down. Mostly the business is connected to weapon production, uh, food, and you know government uh, supply were prospering, and everything else would uh, would decay very fast. Connect yourself to green energy projects. Are you serious? Yes. Because when the rebirth comes, it will have to be established in this way. Are you sure? But, yeah, so far, I, I mean, was... this is one thing that you can attach to if you want purely financial gain. That is what we are saying. After the collapse, green energies will be very, very popular. So, because money will be non important in many aspects it will be started up in a new way and everyone will be affected so there is no way to to not be affected however if you are doing what you want to be doing uh -huh. you will continue to do what you want to be doing you but, are but, in a place where the economy is not that bad if you would like to establish something of this nature, you can make some money, but not what the amount that you would like to make. And it will not be affected by the end of this year. The economy will not collapse this year. We are almost certain. It does not seem probable. I see. Thank you. I guess Liron chairs might also have, because Liron's have tails too, right? Yeah. He's, uh, he, uh, I don't think Grindel was very comfortable on this chair. Oh, I was asking about Lirons. Lirons. Takur, does Takur has, has a, have a, a tail? Um, some Lirons have uh, tails and some have just little stumps. But so they, they are, can have tails as well, yeah. Their chairs also would be different. Yeah, they, and they're, well, they're very big beings, robe-like outfits because there's a lot of fur on their body, and if it's, the clothes is too tight, that it's very uncomfortable. Uh, so they wear very loose-fitting clothes because it pulls the hair on their body if it's tight-fitting. Mm -hmm. And uh, they find it just – they they go more for comfort than style. However, they do have uniforms if necessary. But they're very loose fitting. So. But the chairs, I'm talking about the chairs for Lirons. Uh, chairs? I don't know. I've never seen one. Mm. I saw her sitting on a bench like thing. Mm -hmm. In the crystal room, she sat on a, a bench like chair. It had no back, it was mm -hmm. just a flat surface. That's all, but I don't know what Liren chairs would look like. That was just a bench. It didn't have a back on it. Just a bench. 
So. Oh. Have you ever, um, what's his name? The Egyptian god. Which one, Ra, you mean? No, you're, you're the one which is connected to your higher self. No, I have not yet. No, my, it, I don't know who my higher self is. I know all my spirit guides, but the higher self has not introduced himself to me yet. But I know all my four spirit guides. Uh, there's two, two female, two male. One is a, the, one of the males is a Pleiadian, and that's and the rest of them were humans. And that's all I really know, and I know their names. So that's it. Listen for you. Okay. Wrap up. Okay. Thank you. Mm. Okay. It's raining, drops are pouring down. It's a warm rain. It's a pleasant rain. The ground waits for the water. The plants are sucking in the water and Bloom and grow, and the spring has come. The rain is so welcome. Flooding everything. The melting snow, the melting ice, the rain come together in many, many little creeks that come together in a big river, and a big river floods the play Floods the plain. Yes, floods the plain. And the valley floods the valley with lots of branches, lots of sleeves, like a tree with a lot of branches on the top and a lot of branches on the bottom. It's a good time. It's a time of change. It's a wonderful time, a time of spring. You might be afraid, you might be wet, you might have sneezing nose, but suck it in, this is a healing water. Healing water, healing spirit pouring onto you and make you change. Grow with it, be a plant, be a bird which was waiting for that, spring and warmth. It's time for you to change. It's time to you for you to blossom. Drink of the spirit. Drink of the sacred spiritual water and transform. Transform and grow, become something new. Become yourself even more than before. Drink and transform. Drink and grow. In that growth, in that growth, keep your balance. The only way to keep your balance is by growing a new you. Good luck on the way. Lots of water on your way. I wish you lots of sacred spiritual water lots of I, I wish you lots of sacred spiritual rain to get unto you and to help 
your growth into the new you. Amen. Thank you. That was very beauty. I like that. Very nice. All right, I guess that part will get on the record and publish. So you can advertise. You can get in touch with Jim and uh, reserve your channeling session and visit us for Saturday webinars. You know where to find us. So search for Hugh Colop. Thank you. All Much right. love to you. And it was good talking to you. Good seeing you. Nice to see you. Uh, we, all, we, we all miss you, and um, we would love to see more of you. So Much of water and rain and the sunshine onto you okay have a wonderful okay. day and same to you <laughs> much love much sunshine